The whiteboard coding interview is an essential part of the FANG interviewing process for software engineering roles. And it's also the most terrifying part for engineers, no matter the level of experience. One thing most candidates don't know, because they're only interviewing every couple of years, is that getting stuck is completely normal and it happens to almost everyone. Out of the many, only the ones who overcome this critical moment will pass the interview. And that's exactly why today I'm sharing the reasons why candidates normally get stuck and how you can prepare yourself to overcome this critical situation and pass your interview. Let's get going! I'm Fabian, the Big Tech Coach, and on this channel I make technology, career and success simple. If you are struggling with technical interview preparation or you're even too intimidated to get started, just subscribe to my channel and get ready with me. Before we even start talking detail, the first thing you really need to practice is to keep calm whatever happens. And I know this is something easy to say for me, but once you know the most common reasons why candidates get stuck, it gets much easier. We start with the one which is the most easy to recover from. First, you blank out. Stay calm, go back a few lines and see what you were doing. This doesn't help, go a step further back and reconsider your whole approach. Before you start even coding, plan your approach and think about what you want to implement. If you don't have an idea yet, spend some more time on it. It's better spent now than later on after you already started implementing something. And I know it's a really bad feeling when you blank out in front of an interviewer. But don't worry too much about them. Just keep them in the loop where you are. Tell them you blanked out. Take a deep breath and recover. Second, the approach is not completely clear. Sometimes you realize in the middle of your implementation that you didn't cover a particular edge case or condition. It would have been better if you would have caught all edge cases before you started coding. But you know, it never goes perfectly well. Go back up in your code, walk through it again and see how you can fit in this new case. And also very important, let your interviewer know once you are sure that you missed an edge case. Your interviewer probably already recognized that you missed it. So it's very beneficial for your evaluation to flag the mistake early on and communicate your solution strategy. If you want to learn how to spot your edge cases early on, I have a dedicated video on that topic. I will link it in the video description below. Three, something is wrong with your approach. Sometimes it happens that while fleshing out your algorithm, you realize that your approach you planned to solve the problem with will not work after all. This is the most critical problem that can appear. But what's done is done. So double check, tell your interviewer what you think the problem is and how it happened and most importantly, how you will fix it. Correcting a wrong approach and explaining the reasons why is much better than just staying dead silent, freezing on the whiteboard. Especially since good communication skills is something interviewers appreciate and they might give you a couple of hints which help you to get back on track. A small disclaimer, make sure your initial approach actually doesn't work and you're not just abandoning it in panic without giving it a fair consideration. If you like this video and you want to support me, please like, comment and subscribe. To learn more about coding interview prep, I also recommend to watch one of the displayed videos.